Hi guys, PJ here, today taking a look at Bright Memory on PC. Now I've chose this game to have a quick look at, see how well it performs and everything because while it was recently on the Xbox One Series X or Xbox Series X, however they're wording it these days, uh, it's on there as a showcase. Now it was the infinite version of this game but it is literally the same game. It's still in development, it's been on Steam for quite a while now and basically the PC version straight off the bat does support ultra wide as you can see this is um, basically a 21 by 9 display and it sort of recognized it straight away mouse and controller but controller is partial support so uh, for the menus here look you've got your mouse points you have got controller movement but it is very vague it's just quicker and easier to use the mouse and obviously if you're in big picture mode then yes you can still do it but I'll be using the mouse just for this bit quickly go over the options before I show you how well it runs um, we've got basic game options here on and off and then we've got view at the back we have I do graphics less because last because that's the, the biggie isn't it guys we volumes there nothing special there's no 5.1 audio or anything like that it's just straightforward stereo controls there we go you've got controller settings there etc etc a few keys as you can see but then again, there is quite a lot of combat options in the game, shall we say. Right, so if we go to graphics, which is the main reason of this video, I want to show you how well it would run on a sort of mediocre system. I'm running an RTX 2060. This is the, the normal one, not the S. It's a Ventus MSI, so it's got a factory overclock. It's also being run on a Ryzen 1600X on standard clocks. So a uh, 6 core, 12 thread processor. I've got 16 gigabytes DDR4, the game is installed on an SSD, I'm recording to a different SSD, and my operating system is on another SSD, so yeah, three SSDs. Okay, so options are, now, if you're running on 16 by 9 monitor, I'm running about an extra 800,000 pixels, so bear that one in mind, so if you're running on sort of this here, you're going to get a higher FPS than I am, yeah? Likewise, we do go all the way up, look nice I'm sure you'll agree we will test out some of these presets quickly in game okay so you got the common ones we go all the way down to 800 by 600 here quite a low one and we will test a couple just to see the difference briefly display mode full screen window that's pretty much it guys and uh, brightness v-sync is just on and off there is no like adaptive or anything like that Rendering resolution, this is useful if you're struggling with your frame rate, if your graphics are pushing too high. You won't tell the difference if you drop this down to 90, you'll see a little bit of fuzziness if you drop it down to 75%, but it will help boost your FPS. Now we have anti-aliasing, really bare bones, we've got FX, AA, normal and high, stick it on high there. My card, my graphics card defaulted to the absolute maximum for all these settings, so I've been twiddling around with them to see what makes much of a difference. And uh, to be honest, I don't really need to. If you've got an RTX card, you're pretty much laughing at this point. Texture quality, high, normal, low. Anastropic filter in there, hang all the way up to 16. Didn't make much difference for me sticking it on four, so there you go. Shadow quality, high, medium, high, sorry, low, normal and high, and again, there we go, reflection quality off normal and high. Now this game on the Xbox apparently has ray traced shadows. So not to be confused with full ray tracing like you would see in Battlefield where you've got like the fire effects and everything reflecting off cars and water and stuff. Just shadows. So yeah. Here we go, refraction effects on and off. SSAO on and off. Cinematic blur. Volumetric lighting. This one's pretty intensive guys. If you're struggling, turn this one off. So if your FPS is a bit low, that's a good one to knock off. That'll make quite a bit of difference. I have tried that. Particle light on and off, doff on and off. Chromatic abbreviation. Now personally, I'm not too keen on this effect. It puts like a bluey green edge on everything. But this game, it seems to have it quite well actually. It looks quite nice. I've left it on. So let's get into it and just quickly see. We've got our counter right up here, up top left hand corner, showing FPS, and we've also got a few other stats going on: GPU usage. Uh, memory used etc CPU temperature and RAM used so it looks like you can run this on an 8 gigabyte machine RAM wise as you can see right there that's, that's quite good and graphics memory we're on 3 2.7 mm, in this menu so let's, let's go into game now I have had this crash to desktop so I'll start again on it 
because I got to a certain point and it kept crashing, blue screening. Don't know, I mean it is an early early build, it's not fully finished yet, so yeah, fair enough, you know. Running Windows 10 um, Pro on this particular machine, it's fully updated, graphics drivers are fully updated, etc. So yeah. We'll use controller just so you can see that that uh, works although to be honest with you the game is pretty fast paced so if you are good at keyboard mouse I'd highly recommend you play it on keyboard These mouse. These two worlds are okay. connected like a pair of yeah, twins. We can't skip anything. For one to so survive, 120 FPS seems to be the cap The other here. must be sacrificed. Okay. Interesting because I've got it uncapped. So. Nice looking game, nice aesthetics, I'm sure you'd agree. All looks really good. There we go. Let's Julia, go into this. Have you found anything? I haven't played much, don't want to make the video too long, just want to show you how Just a special ID looks. card. Nothing else that I can see. Roger that. I'm on I don't my way. Who it is. Keep in touch. So this is actually in game now. Now my monitor to refresh is 60 as standard, uh, but we'll go 75 over clock to turn in at 60 of them. Obviously no VC income. It's so unstable. I need to hurry up and stop the teleporter. 9 FPS, 2.8 gigabytes of VRAM being used. So, I say, it's pretty easy to run if you get out an unidentified unit is heading toward the laboratory. Boom. What we got there? 77. Purposely blew the window there so you can see if it dropped. Okay, we've got a cutscene. <laughs> Nice looking game. Very nice. Are you okay? Take cover. Yeah, we got no words, guys. Any else? Hang on. I'll be right there. Eighty-five FPS in combat. Lost parts everywhere. So, oh, oh, there we go. It's crashed. Guys, not good. Let's end the game. Got a quick restart, guys. The game did actually. Okay, that's one of the things that has happened to me every single time I've loaded. So. Okay, so that guy's moves out. Okay. So this is the control so system. See, no there may still be time. At all with this. So what we're going to do now, while we're not getting attacked, is quickly change the options. Getting used to controller here, guys. Clackety clack. Okay. So if we go graphics, I'll put it on 1080 square screen. There we go. Leave everything else at max. Made much difference to the FPS, not really. 108, 120, lots of effects going on here, as you can see. Let's quickly load up another huh? section, get some bad guys. There we go. Okay, so now we've loaded into the like the main part Could of the game. Could this be the floating island hidden intro. at the North Pole? So 120 FPS, it seems to be its max for this game. Let's just quickly change that and go put it back to ultra wide because I'm sure a lot of you guys will be interested. This is max resolution 3840 by 2160. So this is pretty high. We've got everything on. We're not going to hold 60, not in a million years. We've got 39, 31 FPS of stutters. It's not realistic, not at all. So, you no know, Xbox will hold 60 What's FPS. That light? It's doing pretty well. It's the light from the lab. What do you think? I'll go check it out. 40, 37. Not really happening, is it? Nah. Okay. So let's just go down here. Oops, wrong one. No, don't want to do that. Oh, hang on, my screen's gone funny. Check that out, guys. I cannot move the arrow down. That's different. Can we press Escape? Yes, thank God for that. Options. 
graphics. Yeah, it didn't like that, not at all. So what I'm going to do now is just quickly, quickly go down to volumetric light. If we turn this off, you should see a big FPS boost. It okay. looks like someone used to live here. Well, not that big. Eight. Not much difference is there really. Let's just go back in. Mm, can't scroll down, oh we can D pad, here we go. D pad, D pad, D pad. So we got like 89, 98-ish there. Let's put this back on. Lost about three or four FPS, nothing major from volumetrics there. It does help, like I was saying. There we go, Lion King time. Bit of a drop there, 74 FPS. Generally speaking, I don't think we've got absolutely anything to worry about on this. It works very well, it's very, very good. It's not a crash problem, but it is an engine. Right, okay. There we go, guys. I'll wrap this video up at that. And uh, I recommend it, to be honest. It's quite a good game. It's quite nice to play. It feels slick and smooth. Um, I work for it. Go check it out. It's definitely worthwhile checking it out. Hope we do fix the crashes. Performance is brilliant on an RTX card. Looking at the memory configuration of the I would say you might have a real problem running this on something like a GTX 970. Which is quite a lot hard now, I'm sure you'll agree. And that's it. Goodbye for now.